Hello and welcome back to the Rosé Bespoke YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to talk to you about a polo and luxury magazine. Um, I'm very sort of honoured that uh, I'm now writing a regular feature for polo and luxury coffee table magazine. So I thought I'd, uh, this is the previous issue, not the latest one. This is issue 38, we're on to 39 now. But I thought I'd just read you the article that I wrote on what makes the perfect butler. A butler's overriding objective is to make the principal's lives better. The modern butler can turn his hand to anything, from grouse shoot drinks in a bothy perched on a highland mountain, to a thousand guest formal wedding breakfast in central Glasgow. A butler should never be confused with a silver service waiter or a toastmaster. A good butler should be able and be expert in these fields, but the real difference is a butler will look after every detail without needing to be asked. Follow behind, says the assistant gamekeeper in the green Land Rover Defender. With the gentlest of rumbles, the V8 Range Rover follows behind, through fields of waving wildflowers. The Range Rover follows in the tyre tracks of the Defender as it cuts a swathe through the vibrant colours of the flora of an English summer. Suddenly, the Defender crashes through a deep muddy ditch and river at the far side of the field, sending cascades of mud and water up into the air. I gently bring the Range Rover to a stop, not wanting to risk the paintwork of this £100,000 SUV. Would you like me to follow, sir? I ask. Do we have a choice? I think we can make it, comes the reply from the principal. I was only concerned about the possibility of damage. I'll go for it, Simeon. He's getting away, came the reply. And indeed he was correct. The defender was continuing its somewhat reckless path through the open woodland ahead. I'm no stranger to off-road driving. Slow as possible, fast as necessary, is my mantra as I plunge through the small ravine. For a few seconds I can't see anything as the windscreen wipers struggle to clear the screen as we are completely submerged with thick, muddy water. We soon arrive an impressive looking lunch hut, perched precariously on top of a grassy hill. I pull up in front of the log cabin and walk around to open the passenger door. As the principal exits, he rubs his arm across the muddy bodywork of the car. The shirt is perfectly pressed as it slid from the polythene protector. The butler and his principal stand behind and to one side of the Range Rover as the gentleman changes his shirt. How did you know I'd need another shirt? asked the principal. A handsome, immaculately groomed gentleman in his late fifties. I did not, sir, is my reply, but I always carry a few things just in case. A butler would make an excellent chess player, if he ever had time for such things. The essence of a good butler is to always be at least five steps ahead. Before you leave the house with your principal, you're already thinking about everything that could happen on the journey. What is planned for the evening, the week, the month, and even the year ahead? And how today will impact those plans? To continue the analogy, not only is your opponent's king threatened by an inescapable and inevitable capture, but you have also mentally put the pieces back in the box, polished the board, and arranged the time and the place for the next game. After all, every battle is won long before it starts. Just seeing how it goes, is never an option for an experienced butler. Every scenario must be prepared for and drilled. The life of a high net worth individual is often very unpredictable. 
Due to whim or necessity, they may have to travel at a moment's notice, attend a meeting or host guests for a dinner. The butler is always ready to facilitate this happening with the minimum of disruption. So the article goes on to talk about what you need to look for when you're looking for the perfect butler. So it's written from the point of view of a principal who's going to employ a butler. So I might come back to that in a later episode and go through the rest of the article. It's quite a long, it's a good few pages long. So if you'd like me to, please let me know in the comments and I'll do the full thing. But I just wanted to give you a little taste of the article and I hope you enjoyed my writing. Um, uh, let me know what you think. Thanks very much. See you next time.